Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make an almost undetectable patch beside the pocket and I'll give you the best trick of the week. The first thing I'm going to do is to open my pocket. I'm opening just below the zigzag tag because I'm going to keep that zigzag just for the looks. So after I open the rest, I'll cut it out the little part that is attached. So I have a full hole and I will take a piece of denim and I will cut a piece using my pinking shear scissors. I do that zigzag to prevent a back unraveling. If I search, it might be too bulky. Then I will take my hand fusing tape to glue the patch to my pants. I make sure to straight down the material and then I will cut enough tape for the borders. In this case, it's just so small that it will cover everything. But just the borders are enough. I'm ironing and it just all glue. Look at the other side. Then I go to my thread wall to find a good matching thread. The best way to know which one is the best is to put it on top of your pants. It's a hard decision, but I think the second one is the best. Anyways, to maximize the thread color, I'm going to use another second color on the jeans, the dark ones, and I will put it on my bobbin. And then I will loosen up the tension. On top, I'll use the light color and at the bottom, I'll use the darker color. I'll make one stitch to see how the bobbin tension is working and it seems okay and now I will reduce the length of the stitch. Mm, okay, because denim is thicker, I need to loosen up a little bit more the tension. What happened is that the color combination mimic the jeans. You see, you can barely see the stitch. I think this stitch will be perfect for my jeans. Now I can go and sew my patch. I always go straight to the grain, always going in between the lines. I go back and forth, back and forth, and I prefer to turn the material because that way I have more control. And here you go, this is my patch. What I have to do now is to choose the right thread and sew back the pocket. I'll adjust the right tension too so the stitches look alike and then I will sew exactly on top of the old stitches. I try of course to make sure to cover the old patch situation and here you go, where it was a hole before, now it's all restored. You can take a look inside and look outside. Guys, if you find this video useful, please give us a like, don't forget to subscribe, share, comment, and hit the notification bell. Bye!